The second of the medals to be presented today is a medal for what in the old days used to be called meritorious service in an honorary capacity. <laughs> Basically, it means doing an enormous amount of work behind the scenes in a most boring job for something that anybody, nobody else would really want to do, but it's an absolutely vital job on behalf of the association. The Lydia Brown Medal and Gift is awarded to people who have helped the association in an honorary capacity over many years. And this year's recipients are very worthy recipients of that medal. Lydia Brown was a lady who, again, many of you may remember, devoted her life to the BAA and the association. Indeed, the association's offices and library were for a long time in her own home. This year's Lydia Brown Medal and Gift is again a joint award to two people who have contributed in the same area. One of the most possibly mundane aspects you might think of the association's affairs is its finances. But it is absolutely vital. Because if there wasn't money in the bank, you couldn't produce meat journals, you couldn't hold meetings, you couldn't send out section correspondence and the like. And in these difficult times, being the treasurer or treasurers of an association like ours is a very, very difficult job indeed. It is a delicate balancing act. You don't want to be too much of a Scrooge, but at the same time you don't want to be too profligate with the association's funds. This year I'm very, very pleased to be able to announce that the uh, winners, uh, it's a joint, uh, if you like, uh, award of the Lydia Brown Medals and Gift for two people. One who has looked after the association's day-to-day -day expenses for many years, and the second who recently has implemented what I would call the new age of uh, treasury technology, and that is the use of the office computer in handling our finances. We have a computer which has some 250 programs working on it, some 75 different databases. When the direct debits come in on August the 3rd, that money is accruing interest from that date onwards. Three weeks after, the inland revenue gets a demand from us to pay us for the covenant money that they owe us. And that money is again sitting in our bank shortly afterwards. And these things are vital if we are to make the most use of our funds in these difficult times. And so, I'm sure you will join me in uh, thanking the recipients of the 1993 Lydia Brown Medals and Gift, Commander Henry Hatfield and Lionel Mayling. Will you please... Uh... Ten, ten to nine in the morning and sort of say, and the phone go and I used to say, that's Henry. <laughs> and then I got the queries. Um, it's been great fun and I've enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> could, I, could I just say, ladies and gentlemen, that before <clears throat> I became treasurer in 1989, Lionel here had been treasurer and had been in the thick of it for two years, and it was a very, very hot kitchen indeed for the treasurer during those two years. Uh, I happened to be president for most of that time, so I know. Um, Lang was simply marvelous. The eyelids do not bat. They do not flicker. The sums are correct. Nearly always, anyway. <laughs> um, one other little thing I would like to say, John said it was a very boring uh, thing to do, to be treasurer. My last three years in charge of the computer have been anything but boring. They have been quite fascinating, because three years ago I didn't know the front end of the computer from the back end of a London bus. But now I'm splashing about happily in the deep end, and Pat is splashing about happily 
and they, in the office the girls have time not only to do their job, but to sit back. And sometimes Pat tells, tells me that she sits back and thinks, and sometimes she just sits back. <laughs> and I say that this is how an office should be run, with a relaxed efficiency. And I think we're blessed at the moment with one of the most efficient small offices in, the, in London, if not in the country. But anyway, thank you, sir. We shall treasure these for a long time. Thank you. <laughs>